St. Clair County cheerleader is feeling fine, but gets a routine EKG to check her heart. And the results of that simple scan are shocking. Fox News' Dina Santafani shows us how the teen's life was forever changed. A few small steps begin a remarkable journey for 15-year-old Caitlin Scott with a new heart. It feels odd that it's like actually working right. Always active, everyone figured the smiling St. Clair girl was very healthy. Neither Caitlin nor her family knew that as a baby she was born with a devastating heart defect. Now looking back, Caitlin recognizes the subtle symptoms. My heart would start to race and then slow down really fast. Mm. And I like couldn't catch my breath and I just had to sit down for a minute. It was a routine EKG at a doctor's office that discovered the cardiomyopathy, the disease that hurts the heart's ability to pump. It's so severe, doctors quickly realized Caitlin needs a new heart. When we saw her, she, her heart was in very, very bad shape and we were actually surprised that she was walking around. For the girl who loves sports, life comes to a sudden halt. While she waits for a heart, a pump delivers medication into her arm, keeping Caitlin alive. Three months later, the call comes. I told Caitlin that we got the call, and she knew what that, that meant right away. She jumped right up faster than I've ever seen, uh, smiling from ear to ear. It's like Christmas morning. Completely amazing, yeah. Even for doctors on the transplant team at Mott Children's Hospital, watching a donated heart come to life inside Caitlin is remarkable. I mean, the heart arrives in a cooler. <laughs> into the patient's room and then you you see the whole thing and it, it starts beating. It's it's a miracle, I think. Happy birthday, Caitlin. Yeah. Thank Happy you. Birthday. Oh. Caitlin got her new heart on her 15th awesome. birthday and for her family, the celebration is filled with raw emotion. Months ago, they're shocked to learn her heart was failing and now they're overwhelmed to get the gift of a donor heart. I'm sorry for the loss, but I hope they know um, what, they, what, what they've done with their gift is beyond amazing. Uh, Caitlin's uh, first words were after the surgery, um, where she's gonna live a long, happy life. And uh, without them, this wouldn't be possible. Just, I hope they know that. I hope to one day be able to tell them that. It's kind of cool, because that person gets to like live on through me, and then I get to live because of this person. Caitlin is now healing at home and she's doing really well. She's also working with the Have a Heart, Save a Life Charlie Sanders Foundation, raising awareness and raising money to help support heart screenings in student athletes. We have more information for you about Charlie's Foundation on MyFoxDetroit.com. That's HealthWorks. I'm Dina Centifanti.